Tell me who you are. What's your name? My name is Philip Gishuki. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Nairobi Water Company. Uh, and uh, I've come to the World Water Day celebration in South Africa, and as well as uh, attending the General Assembly for GOPA, the Global Water Operator Partnership uh, so Conference. Tell me about the, what challenges you're facing in, uh, in Nairobi. Well, one of the big challenges that we face in Nairobi is uh, non revenue water, it's an, it's an issue that uh, as a company we... Could you explain to, to people what non-revenue water is? is non-revenue water means that uh, we have treated a, a certain amount of water and uh, we cannot be able to account for all that, whatever we have treated, we are not able to, to, to say that where it has been used or we can say it, it is wasted. We are not so able it's water that is lost. Yeah, that, that is lost, yeah. yes. And um, uh, this is a challenge that we are taking up. And more so, we are focusing on uh, ensuring that uh, that water is available for the people. And uh, more so in the informal settlement. And uh, in the informal settlement is one area that, uh, as a water company, we are focusing on uh, how to improve the services there. And uh, by doing so, we are reducing uh, the, that uh, non-revenue water by by good extent. And uh, uh, why is it why is it so? It's because in the informal settlement, that's where most of our uh, big pipes pass through. And uh, uh, when we don't address the water issue in the informal settlement, uh, our facilities will not be safe. And uh, by working with the community there, we are able to supply them with water uh, at a reasonable cost, and um, uh, they are able also to benefit from the from the service. At, uh, because uh, in the informal settlement, we have uh, uh, what we call cartels. Sometimes they make the, the service delivery very expensive, and uh, you get water a poor person paying uh, almost 10 times what uh, other areas are paying but right. when we... we so water is more expensive there than in other places then? Yeah, mm -hmm. the informal settlement water is more expensive when we, we, without our intervention. So how, d how do you work with that fact that the, the poorer people pay more for their water? Uh, because what happens is that um, the, uh, there are some people who take advantage of them and uh, they get water at a cheaper price from our services and then they sell that water at an exorbitant price and because they are retailing in that case and that's, uh, that's the reason why the, the, the poor person end up paying more but uh, we want to work with the community there in the former settlement and make it cheaper for them to access that water and what we have done, we have developed um, uh, communal water points uh, in the form of water kiosks and at that point, they buy water cheaply. Uh, where they, they at that point they paid for 20 liter uh, jerry can, they pay for two shillings, which which is far much cheaper than uh, 20 shillings when they, it is being sold by the the, 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 the retailers. Okay, and, so uh, there are initiatives being made to to make sure that the poor have better access to to water then. Exactly, yeah. that's that's the initiative that we are talking about, uh, where we want poor, poor people to access water at a cheaper price, and uh, it is working. It's working. More and more people, uh, in terms of communal groups, they are coming up and uh, uh, teaming up with us to to be able to serve them better. Okay. Yes. Great. That sounds like a, a wonderful initiative, and I wish you all all the best and good luck. And I will ask you to hold up a badge so I can film to get your, your name as well. Correct. Could you hold up the badge that you have around your neck? Yeah. And I will just film that. So we've been talking to Philip. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.